You must die. Stand back. I have you to must die. Uh, Goblin Mage is alright to start with. Drawing also. Yeah, it might work if he has a one drop. If he has a one drop, that's good. Ooh, Rapunzel also. Pretty good starting end. Okay, let's hope he actually has an, uh, something to play next turn. Like, it's actually good for us if he has it too. My heart in a verse. So, okay, there we go. Um... So we actually have pretty good value of um, the swing now. And that also swings the game a little. Because we are able to attack it. We have viewers on the board. We summon a 1-1. One, one. So we are starting here both at 20 lives. And we are having 3 evolve mechanics. With evolve you make a minion stronger. It gains plus 2 plus 2 in stats. But it also gains a rush effect. What means it can attack directly. So once you are evolving and we are having, because we are going second, we are having one more evolve mechanic. And with that, we are able to um, charge minions directly. We think I should uh, trade it there with the Lancer. So expensive. Call the tag with Lancer. Yeah, now he draws a card. Hmm. Man, it's going to be so bad. Like the clash is uh, before the damage is dealt, it uh, gains it. So I gave him a card away. Oh, rush. You're so behind. Cinderella. To arms, brother. At your service. What an ugly bunch. Yeah, I will fail you trade this. I have to. I'm uh, otherwise I'm falling too behind. No one gets past me. Ah, two cards, man. It's so strong. It's so strong. This uh, clash there. So what we really want to try here is also to, um, because the comeback mechanic and Shadowverse is pretty good in general. There's quite a nice comeback mechanic because of evolve, and because of the early, the first drops are not too impactful compared to Hearthstone. And there's a nice comeback mechanic, in my opinion, for control decks. Stay out of my axis reach. That's fine. That's pretty slow turn. Kind of nice. It might be hard because our hand is. We have really crafted uh, some. Oh, that's aggressive. Give plus one plus one doesn't do directly too much because I will trade it there. Still might want to do it. And look at this, guys. Plus one. Like a bird, I sing. Here it goes. You have to make it this way. No one gets past me. This is our way out. I surrender. So by evolving, it gains rush. And with rush, you're able to uh, attack directly. So we're able to attack directly, but not just on board. So we need to make uh, another, but we have a rush in the hand, so we are always uh, able to attack here. It won't be long now. This was meant to be. Did he actually trade with Rapunzel? Wow, that's not bad either, though. So we can trade. We can play this. We can also play Cinderella. Um, Cinderella with the ambush here. Now that's pretty good because we gained the 1-3. And with the 1-3 we are directly able to trade this one away. Probably a little cleaner. Bane... Um, Bane being the fact followers that have Bane automatically destroy another follower they attack. So it can be really good. Ah yeah, he has to. We still have one evolve left and gave one... Oh, that's pretty good. Neutral, neutral. We definitely go Alice here. Alice! Uh, one of the new cards out of the expansion being also one of the more popular ones. Seeing it a lot. Lands of wonders, lands of marbles. Oh, it's so good. Ha! Oh, wait. Ambush. Um, A 
Until tomorrow, I'll dance. Here goes. Win. Yeah, I like Cinderella here, I think. Just because it's the strongest one. Not a neutral, not a neutral, not a neutral. So these were the two Alice will buff. But uh, you want to keep the rush to have more flexibility. Plus, we still have one um, too good to do it with. It's pretty good for him. Now it's the value trade here. Uh, ambush being that you cannot attack it. It's in stealth mode. We don't see it. Yeah, we are really missing some power. Deal one damage to all enemy followers. Not bad. Oops, sorry. Mm, yeah, it's it's enemy, right? Oops, sorry. The order will remain. This whip steals. Which is midnight. Yeah, I'm making the value trade with Cinderella because Cinderella will go back to the hand anyway, just saving some uh, additional value. And we still have the rush, so we still have the flexibility of the rush, we still have an evolve. And with this evolve we shall be able to st always stay ahead, I think. Because she is missing the evolve, and there we go! She has foreseen this! She shall have foreseen this. Quest Erika! Can you play big, uh, easy Dragcraft easy? Yeah, that's a big deck, right? Um, we keep one, two. We don't keep both. It's a little stronger, and you don't mind damaging yourself. So what is a really like? I really am a big fan of a, the the big Noko bodyguard. I think it's just a way too strong, a really strong card to just deal with uh, with whatever is on the board and you still leave yourself a bit of 4 um, a 4 and a 3 4 I like this card put a random follower that costs 2 points less just in play yeah and you don't really mind putting yourself lower because you make your card stronger once you're going under 10 lives so this also, and because all our two drops are either having an, an, a negative fanfare of dealing damage to ourselves, or they are um, having a not a battle cry but an effect that it happens after a turn, it can be really strong. Oh man, it's the only play I can do. That's pretty strong. I have to trade it because otherwise it trades even better. It's even gonna be worse. So you see that I'm damaging myself for playing uh, the two mana 1-4 uh, with Bart. Next turn Knuckles. Destroy an enemy with 3 defense or less. 3 defense. Do you see guys? That he really often just trades with... Um, with like 3 drops. Alright, sure, whatever. Here we go. This card is so strong, man. Like, it just goes so... It just too often goes 2 for 1. It damage, damages me for 2, but once I'm under 10 life, it doesn't damage me anymore. Here, another card that uh, the Dark um, AMer can pull out. 2 mana, 1, 3. Whenever a follower comes into play, deal 1 damage. So, you deal a lot of damage for to yourself, but after that point, you also deal a lot of damage to your opponent. He will probably evolve this. I think he has to, right? He falls a lot behind them, man. But, but, like, she's only having two evolves. I have three. Because I go second. <laughs> we also have a 2 1 storm in the deck. So I can just play it, and maybe I even get the 2 1 storm. I really want to play on curve, though. Like, I don't mind playing this, but. It's so off curve. I'm powerless for now. It's better to evolve this because we can still trade this, but now both minions are covering. The only reason I'm doing this is because we are doing just too good in the game. Or I'm not too good, but we are doing good. And in evolves we are also still ahead. So I have to make sure I'm reactive to not fall behind in tempo. 
But yeah, it pulls a card out of your deck on the board. So I'm not under 10 lives yet. I can put myself under 10 lives. This is my home. You are my food. Weakness the power. Should I suffocate you? Suck you dry. Wait, why is it not climbing anymore? These fists will finish you. Oh wait, that bane it's oh man. Oh wait. Oh that was a horrible trade way. Should have value traded it or No, I had to always trade two in, right? But shouldn't have played the uh, the board then, should have played this maybe. So now we are under 10, that makes uh, this card uh, gaining storm. This card heals me now. We are the chosen ones. Let us conclude. Pledge your allegiance now that's believer. Ow. Yeah, you wanna buff it. Ah, but that was not so... Oh, man. Now, it was alright, there was not much better things possible. What happens with the evolve there? Five four. I'm gonna borrow this. My heart oh man, that's insane. Randomly summon one of your highest Wow. That's insane. Oh what? Why don't you trade this? Unbeliever. Ten? Four off, right? This prison stone is so beautiful. I'm two off. I might have to do this, but like, or, or this. Yeah, it's a 10 mana lethal, I know guys, but that doesn't count. I'm powerless for now. You will soon learn. Yeah, this is the best, this is the best play, I think. Now we trade this, this goes face, this goes face. I'm really aggressive. But we still have a room of three, we still are strong on the board. And I feel we play around enough here. But I have to be aggressive here. We have a four charge. I could maybe like do the restore to heal. But I like the aggressive play here. But we had to trade the five five. Ah oh, great. That's great. And why I like to play this? Because of that, I like it. Storm. Ah. Oh. Interesting, huh? Interesting. There we go. Yeah. And here with the with the storm. There we go. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, so you see that I have a lot of cards that gain storm. What? What I won? Are you kidding me? Don't drink the wrestled! What? Don't drink the wrestled now! I just won! <laughs> what is this? I've never had this before! He rage quit or what? <laughs> you mad bro? <laughs> I've never seen this before. There we go. All too easy. All too easy.